Women's Wrestling Army. As uh, one of our fearless leaders, Maria Canellas Bennett, decided to set things up because WWE's resident menace, I think, not, needs a little bit of whipping in the shape. This match is set for one fall of a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, competing out of Chicago, Illinois, Missa Kate. She certainly does, Alyssa, because Missa Kate has been running amok in the WWA locker room. Uh, on top of the fact that, you know, that match with uh, Queen. What, what is that? The, oh, come on. The antics are not just limited to the locker room or to backstage. The fans are also taking a brunt of some some insults and just wow. nonsense from Miss Kate. Well, if there's anyone that can deal with this menace, I think it's her opponent, Trisha Dora. Yeah, a... Uh, seasoned army veteran in Trisha Dora, as well as, I'd say, WWA's resident gatekeeper. But Missa Kate, certainly bold, certainly brash, here in the ring as she awaits her competition tonight. I feel like that's the first time she's ever given someone a hat instead of taking their hat off of their head. How benevolent of her. when it comes to ferocious competition, ever poised, the Afro Punk. Her opponent, completing out of Washington, DC, Trish Adora. There are few competitors who step in that ring and have the poise, discipline, and dedication that Adora has. Part of that is from her being an Army veteran, but Trisha Dora has been chomping at the bit for over five years in pro wrestling. World-class training by Jonathan Gresham, a world champion in her own right, and now she's gonna keep that gate against Missa Kate. World champion, the Pan-African World Diaspora champion, the first and the only reigning champion, proudly representing her community, Trish, such a gifted grappler with, with so much history under her belt already. But every match that we see, she keeps getting better and better since that initial snub, that disrespect in the battle of technicians, the virtuosa, that di dishonest win really lit a fire in Trisha Dora. And there has been no stopping the upward trajectory of the Afro punk. I wonder if Peraza would take coverage for the statement of Trish dubbing herself the gatekeeper of WWE. Send her to Indiana, Trish! Certainly is quite a lot to reckon with. And now, of course, what is in a handshake? Always offering. I don't think sportsmanship is in the vocabulary of Miss Kate. Oh, ew! Did she just oh, spit out her gum in Trish's hand? Stone-faced Trish is that obviously was not some, oh, yeah, chucked right back into the face of Missa Kate. You can't pull that kind of shenanigans against Trisha Dora. Now strong lockup, Trisha Dora not taking kindly to the insult from Missa Kate. Trisha Dora is someone that prides herself on being an honorable competitor. Offers that handshake every time when she steps in the ring and such disrespect from Missa Kate. Yes, well, it, it's clear that Miss Kate has very little honor, very little respect for Trish for the Women's Wrestling Army roster. So hopefully Trish can whip her into shape here tonight. Yeah, I mean, certainly Maria Canellis Bennett knew what she was doing and knew certainly the person that she could rely on to try and show Miss Kate what it means to have respect. And Working dangerously close within our referee's call, almost getting herself disqualified, Miss Kate. And now Trish oh, slamming Missa Kate down to the ground. And this is where Trish works best with that ground game. Mahi Straw goes for that quick cover. Shoulders are down. Missa Kate evades. And again, Oklahoma. But not the three count. Might be too early on for that. Missa Kate might have met her match here tonight. For Missa Kate, someone that always walks around with her head held high like she could do anything she wants, that was certainly some doubt creeping in. Trish so wisely avoiding and now rolling the shoulders back, forcing them down, but cannot keep Missa Kate down with 
Now a blow to the midsection of the Afro Punk. I think Kate Whoa. thinks she. Oh, okay. Brute strength. Hoisting up Missa Kate here. Oh, going for. Oh, this oh, is. Oh, yes. Incredible inventive damage to the body parts. All that pressure on the neck. Missa Kate's entire body weight working against her. All this pressure. Is Missa Kate going to tap out? Can Miss a Kate tap out? Yeah, right. Can she even can she even perform the tap? But driving Wait. Trish into the corner. But Trish, oh, had her scouted there. Miss a Kate now in the corner. Oh, winds out of the way of the Afro Punk. Dodges the blow and now a midsection shot from Miss a Kate. Miss a Kate has been running rampant with her tactics, just messing with all of the WWA roster. The I mean, I'm sure things have been happening for the production team as well. I think she's awfully uh, satisfied with her actions as of late. About to be even more satisfied, wrenching the body of Trisha Dora, trying to take Trisha Dora through this hard corner post of the ring. And again, working right within the referee's call, wrenching that abdomen. Let's talk about the fashion in which Missa Kate defeated Brooke Valentine. It certainly was. It was a forced DQ. Just it, it, unfortunate timing as Missa Kate set herself up to appear as though Brooke Valentine had used a chair against her. Referee turned around, spotted it just in time. And now Missa Kate is driving Trisha Dora back down to the mat. All the damage she put on the midsection now driving a knee into the rib cage of the Afro Punk. Here's to hoping that Kate's not able to get away with any of those shenanigans that she usually pulls, but now I think going for a bow and arrow here, once again writhing the back area of Trish Adora here. Trish folded up in a way that we don't often see her. But now able to capitalize instead, shifts her body weight with a quick cover to miss a Kate. Kate with a shot to the midsection again. And now wrenching Trishadora back up to her feet is Missa Kate. Trishadora planting herself down, resisting the offense from Missa Kate. Using those hips to change the momentum of Kate with knees to the knees to the chest. And once more going for a suplex. Impressive show of strength from Missa Kate, but still takes her time making the cover, but now forcing the shoulders down. Trisha Dora able to kick out. And lackadaisical pin attempts are not going to get Trisha Dora down for the three count. This is a competitor that has defended her world championship for over a year, undefeated. It's going to take a lot more. Certainly is Trisha Dora since that dishonest defeat that she suffered at the hands of the Virtuosa has been on a tear through Women's Wrestling Army. But Missa Kate is trying to put the kibosh on that real quick. Now wrapping up the arms of Trisha Dora, and again, more pressure to the lower back. The boots, the heel, digging into the spine of Trisha Dora. Missa Kate looking very proud of her handiwork. She surveys Trisha Dora, but the Afro Punk with a shot, and another to the jaw of Missa Kate. Kate now firing off. Offense of her own. Now the snap of the suplex to Trisha Dora. Quickly folding up, capitalizing, but very slow in, in capturing the leg of Trisha Dora. Didn't have enough pressure to keep Adora down. And also really speaks to just the spirit of Trisha Dora. Trisha Dora has set out to prove that she is the greatest, the best in the world at what she does. And, but now finds herself in a compromising position at the hands of Miss Kate. But Trisha Dora never won to give up. Life has thrown her a lot of curveballs, but she still has success. And over the odds just now with a judo throw to Miss Kate. Trish getting quickly back to her feet. Now jockey for position. Miss Kate with the offense. Trish able to duck. Lowers her center of gravity, scoops oh. up Miss Kate, who evades, slips out the back door. And again, we we think about the offense, the arsenal of Trisha Dora, and Miss Kate is just wearing down on the back of the Afro Punk. And it's clear that the target here on the part of Miss Kate is that back of Adora, looking 
looks to just deliver so much pain here now with a, a submission to that midsection. Yeah, the body scissors from Missa Kate. The same ribs that went into that corner post, and though not in position to get the shoulders down, but could we see the, the Afro Punk tap out here in the center of the ring at Women's Wrestling Army? What an upset it would be. For oh, wait, oh. it gets the shoulders on Missa Kate down, forcing. Oh. Forces a shift in position and at least gives Trish her airway open once more. And such a callous uh, lack of regard for Adora's body. Now, Adora fighting out back elbows to the face of Missa Kate. And one more. That loosens the grip. Anything to escape. Firing back elbows to Missa Kate. Trying to create some distance between herself and the menace of women's wrestling army. Both competitors have felt the wear and tear throughout this matchup, and now it is Missa Kate to her feet first, trying to drag the Afro Punk up to hers. Trisha Dora using her body weight to keep herself down and powering through, slamming Missa Kate down. Using her own leverage against her, and now Missa Kate Gets pressed by the entire body of Trisha Dora. Trisha Dora, hip check to Chicago's sweetheart. I don't know how sweet she is, but I know that Trisha Dora has had enough of those antics. Rolls her up. Shoulders are down. Can she? She cannot get the three count on Missa Kate. The ring is Trisha Dora's chest. Board. What is going to be her next move to checkmate on Missa Kate? Always trying to stay two or three steps ahead and now uh, slams down Missa Kate. Was perhaps, feeling the brunt of that. Yeah, perhaps she was unable to fully execute that because of that wear and tear on the back from earlier. Yes, yeah, certainly has been feeling the damage from Missa Kate, but now the shoulders are down and Missa Kate able to kick out. Explosive kick out from Missa Kate, who may have just expounded the last bit of energy. And look at the focus. Look at the determination on the face of the Afro Punk. What I mean, what is going through the mind of Trisha Dora now? I, you know, I, I think that she's scheming up something. She's strategizing and oh, looking Missa Kate straight in the eyes, hands raised, going for a slug there, but Missa Kate ducking both forearm to the face. Trisha Dora now answering back. Missa Kate dodges once more, firing off her own shots to the jaw of the Afro Punk. Now hooking again, trying to get Trisha Dora into position. Hooks the leg. But oh, no, Trisha Dora. Trying to force maybe some separation. But no, it's Missa Kate who shrugs off the Trisha Dora. Well, Nelson and now. Really jockeying for position, trying to get the better of one another. Trish props Miss Kate up on the top turnbuckle. In the corner, poised. Oh my goodness. All of the impact felt. Shockwaves of pain radiating through Miss Kate. Wisely rolling away from the ropes to the cover. And no. Trisha Dora in shock that Missa Kate is still digging down and finding the strength to continue. Well, I think Missa Kate's doing it despite the roster, despite Trisha Dora. I mean, this is a person that walks around like there's nothing she can't do, but wait, the, the cattle mutilation! The, cattle mutilation! It, what, that was not a tap, and now it's just Missa Kate fighting through, trying to wriggle her way out of the submission hold, and she, oh. able to get to the ropes. Ring awareness on the part of Miss Akeda, gotta give her that. Yeah, definitely staying composed to the best of her ability, not letting any panic set in. And now Trisha Dora has Miss Akeda poising at the ropes. Ferocious chop to the chest of Miss Akeda, now reverses the whip and a boot to the face of the Afro Punk, scrambling to the cover, hooks the legs to end it, and no! Trisha Dora not letting that streak here at Women's Wrestling Army go. Off the ropes, Missa Kate goes, knee to the face! Driving that knee through Trisha Dora again with the cover, looking for the win, not quite. Missa Kate now racking her brain. 
has walked up and down this locker room like no one can tell her anything, showing such disrespect to all of her peers. Like she owns the place. Has the home field advantage, but really has taken advantage of it. Back elbows once more from the Afro Punk, who now creates some separation between herself and her opponent. But again, looking for that rear, oh no, looking for another face first in the face for Trisha Dora. Trish creating that distance, but ultimately having her back to her opponent. Now Missa Kate goes off the ropes. A dangerous place to be. Ooh, I think just... Now the cover from Missa Kate and Trisha Dora able to kick out. Missa Kate throwing a little bit of a tantrum there. A, a, almost a hissy fit for Missa Kate who's having a range of emotions uh -oh. at this stage in the game, but is rolled out, dipping underneath the ring. No, we no, saw no, that no. this is where she got that pin folding chair that she used to get Brooke Valentine disqualified. Are we gonna see a potential repeat, or is Miss Kate gonna risk it and use the chair against Trisha Dora? Could this be the ultimate foil to Adora here? But ref Jeremy uh, clearly sees that pink chair and wants nothing to do with that chair in the ring. Now a bit of a tug of war with our referee, Jeremy. If she's not careful, she's gonna get herself disqualified. Oh, and a, a boot collides and that pink folding chair went right into the face. Oh, Trish sits out. And now, locking in, another submission hold. Trisha Dora. Missa Kate has nowhere to go. She passed out, that's the end of the match. Winner of this match by referee stoppage, Trish Adora. Referee using his discretion stops the match. Missa Kate lost consciousness in that submission hold the expertise, grappling, and technical abilities of the Afro Punk on display. Perhaps today, Missa Kate bit off a little more than she could chew against the Afro Punk, showing that antics, silly antics, don't always get you the win cheating certainly doesn't certainly not but trisha dora standing tall standing proud and missa kate scrambling back to the locker room where she's caused so much havoc i wonder if we'll see a shift in the personality of missa kate after this matchup against the afro punk but trisha dora stands proud at women's wrestling army